topic, we're going to get into another famous person or persons who have taught us something. And so I'm just going to dive right in. Brad Gilbert and Andre Agassi taught me something that really made a big difference in the technique of my players. And the funny thing is, they taught me this because they were in the background of watching the U.S. Open so that the talking heads were talking and Brad was working with Andre in the background. And I noticed something interesting that that Gilbert would feed the ball like right in the in the sweet spot, right on the right on where the hips were, and on Andre's racket was there. And then he would feed a lower ball, and and Andre's hand would go lower, so he could get under it and bring the ball up. And I was like, that's weird. And then Gilbert would toss, you know, feed the ball up a little higher, and then Agassi's hand would go higher with the ball, so he could he could drive them all. So that was a really big deal for me to be able to learn from uh, Brad and Andre that that you can change the height of your racket preparation for the incoming ball. Because I think a lot of people don't know that. What they I think they do is they take it back in the same place and then you get these big swiper shots up there and yeah. you have people who have a hard time getting under the ball and then they net more shots because their racket's not low enough under the ball. Yeah. All right, Dave. Good, good point. Um, I'm going to use a, a good friend of mine, Ken DeHart, who has just been passionate about tennis in, in so many levels. And talking about what you see on the court um, and lining it up with what you're telling your players to do or your technical advice, there are times that we often use analogies that might not be exactly what happens and, and we have to be a little careful because some players can take it literally, but in reality, you want to find analogies that are actual what we want to see happen on the court. Uh, I, I just recently heard a guy talk about, I won't mention names, but he talked about cupping the ball on the serve. <laughs> and he's a top ranked pro. I mean, this was a, a highly you know, recognized pro, but that's not what happens. Now, if he's talking about, I want to just tell a player, that's what I feel. Okay, but he never said that. So I see players all the time with their forehand rolling the racket over the ball because their pro said, roll the racket and get more tops. No, you don't. So, you know, both Ken and I are, are on the same page of saying, you know, we want, if we're hitting tops, when I talk about the serve instead of rolling the racket, that it's just a left to right brush. The plane stays the same. It's one of my sayings in my book. Keep the plane the same, because if the plane is changing, the dynamics of the contact point are changing within the framework of the contact zone. And if that's happening, aiming is out the door. You can't aim because if you're a little early, you're going to hit the ball in the net. If you're a little late, you're going to hit the ball up a mile out. So be careful what you say and make sure it follows what you're trying to get the player to do. If you want to use a small analogy or something, make sure that analogy fits the skill you're trying to convey yes awesome thank you dave and you, it's time for the next one goodbye <laughs>